Hello guys, welcome to the second tutorial on how to do this koan sound uh, style. Um, I'll show you what I did with this voice thing. It sounds like this. Like that. Um, what I did was I, I sliced up an audio file like uh, this this uh, a cappella here. I sliced up this into 16th notes. Um, I didn't go down like this and uh, chopped it up like that. I I used something called MPC Slicer. I'll give you the link in the description. Uh, you download it and you put it in this folder. Users, whatever your name is, documents, Ableton, library, defaults, slicing. Um, copy that off, I think I already done that. Uh, and it's gonna be in this folder. Here, MPC Slicer. Um, and when you've done that, you can take a part of this audio file. You can take uh, the full audio file because uh, um, what it's gonna do, uh, it's gonna put all of these small 16th uh, notes shops uh, into one uh, MIDI track. Uh, and if you take the whole thing and slice it up, it's gonna be like ridiculously many uh, samples. So just take uh, part that you like, I don't know, here. Uh, and delete this um, and you put it on the same track that you have here uh, right click and click slice the new MIDI track and select 16th notes and the MPC slicer uh, and as I said this is going to create uh, uh, like a sampler track here uh, and on this sampler track I'm gonna mute this uh, sample here because we don't need it um, you can create a new MIDI track here and it's gonna have uh, small shops of this, which you can put in the offbeat, which I did uh, here. If you right click and click there, I guess you know how to do that. Uh, and you put it in the offbeat, like here. It's gonna be like like that. And, and then you just found a sample that sounds nice. Yeah. And that's what I did, and I found this cha. I, I don't know if I if I have it now. <laughs> Never mind. You you uh, get the idea. Uh, now for the effects uh, I used on this voice thing. Um, first of all, I put this uh, compressor on, uh, which is just uh, increasing the volume. If you listen to it without, and with, and then the saturator, just boosting some. Uh, I always use this saturator. It's a nice plugin. Um, boost um, some drive here, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, remove some low, and then here it just adds some uh, punch to it, I guess. Yeah. Um, and this chorus thing, um, I just put it on to try it, and it turned out pretty cool. Um, it uh, makes a pretty nice stereo effect. Uh, if you listen to it without and with, it, it makes it stereo. So yeah, uh, and give it a nice color. Um, so yeah, that's what I did pretty much. Um, if you want to see other ways to use this uh, MPC slicer, uh, you can tell me to make a tutorial on that or I can just uh, give you a link to a guy that makes a really nice tutorial on how to, to use this in like make a cool Skrillexy dubstep thing yeah um, join me in the next uh, episode where I'll show you this uh, respaces <laughs>